What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Talking Options. I'm starting a very special playlist for all my beginners out there who've been asking Samantha, I really want to get a better breakdown on how I can start trading options. Well, this is it right here for you. Options trading for dummies, right? But none of you are going to be dumb after you look at this playlist because I'm going to break down step by step so you understand the basics of what we mean when we say we trade options. So the most important thing to remember about trading options is that you're talking options. You're talking a lot of different options, a variety of what you can trade and what you can do with your underlying. See, the reason why we love options instead of Forex and all that nonsense is because you have more options when we're talking about leverage and we're talking about putting insurance on our positions. So the first thing I want to break down to start off is the options contract. All right. So there's a lot of different components when we're talking about the options contract. But the first thing that you need to know is you need to know what does it detail of. So the first thing that you usually see is you see the ticker symbol. So let's say for example we're trading natural gas. You'll see a forward slash for that futures so you know that you're trading futures. Forward slash NG. That's natural gas, right? So the next thing that you may have here is that you'll mo most likely see a date. And let's say for example this one is May 21st 2019 and so what we know there is that this is the date that this options contract is going to expire so you can trade weeklies you can trade usually um when you're looking at standard options contracts they expire the third friday of every month but you don't have to wait for that 21 day expiration you can trade 45 day expirations but one of the things that we talk about here talking options especially for you beginners how can you make that cash flow quick you got to talk about weekly options. So that's one thing I'll be talking about in another playlist after you understand the beginnings to this. So you have natural gas, you have the expiration date, and the next thing you're probably going to see, I'll draw it right here, is you'll see a strike price. So let's say for example right now natural gas is trading at 120, right? And then you'll see a word here that's either call or put. So right now when we're talking about natural gas, let's say for example this contract is a long call. So you'll probably see a strike price 120 and then you'll see call right there. Basically what this means is that right now we are choosing to say that natural gas is either going to trade above or below 120 and we have a long call position in that. So when we're talking about long calls, we're going to break down the four different types of options contracts, the building blocks, but I just want you to know right now, a long call is a bullish position. So I'm saying that I believe natural gas is going to trade above 120 before May 21st, 2019. See? It makes sense. It's already so simple, right? So you have these three components right now. Now the next component that you usually have here, one second, is you have the price. And so while you may have natural gas, you have the expiration date, you have 120 and then you have the call. Let's say for example, this options contract is going to cost us 425, right? So basically what this means is that in order for us to purchase this options contract, it's going to cost us $425 per share. Now something to keep in mind when we're talking about options contracts is that there are 100 shares. So 100 shares equals one contract. This is one of the reasons why we say that options gives you so much leverage. Because if you were to actually buy outright in natural gas and try to trade it with futures, you would have less leverage unless you're talking about options. Because with options, we're able to have a lot more leverage because you're dealing with 100 shares at a time. That's just in one contract. Compared to you buying it outright, you'd be paying way more and you wouldn't have as much leverage for your money. So these are just four quick components to know about the options contract. You have the stock ticker symbol, which is this dictates what you are trading. So this right here again, this is natural gas. You have the expiration date, which in this case right now we have it at May 21st, 2019. Then you have the strike price, which is what we're trading it at, 120. 
what kind of contract is it? Is it a put or is it a call? In this case, remember, this is a call and we're specifically saying this is a loan call and it's gonna cost us $4.25 and we know, again, that that means that this is $4.25 per share. So that would equate to $425. So that's just the basics to the options contract. I'm gonna break down each one in the videos coming up. But again, this was an intro video, so you need to stay tuned for all my people out there who wanna start talking options. Let go.